A day after Cottage Grove City Manager announced that a former city employee embezzled money, community leaders are trying to wrap their heads around the case. Good evening, I'm Brandi Smith. And I'm Brian Richardson. We first told you about this investigation yesterday. KEZI 9 News reporter Lauren Meichler spoke to locals about how they're taking this news. She has our top story at 6. Lauren. City Manager Richard Meyer says the city fired the alleged thief and then the city's money will be refunded by insurance, but his biggest concern is hurting the people's trust, a feeling that is lingering amongst Cottage Grove citizens as they learn more about the investigation. The city's news surprised many, but also left a good amount of questions circling the alleged embezzlement. We don't have a lot of information we can share with you at this time but we felt it was important, of utmost important, to let the public know that this has occurred. As the investigation continues, the public still wants to hear who or how much or how long this went on, while the city wonders how long it will take to rebuild trust with its citizens. Staff is working diligently to regain the trust of the members of this community, and we hope the community will support us as we work through this difficult situation. Travis Palmer says earning back that trust could take some time. I think they have done a great job in acting swiftly and being very open about what's happening um, but it, it takes time. Palmer is the executive director of the Cottage Grove Chamber of Commerce, another local organization that also experienced embezzlement a while back. We've long since passed that, but there's still a lot of um, emotions that are deeply tied to that issue to this day. Similar to emotion citizens are now feeling toward the city. I was really quite shocked. It's not something you expect from your local government. I cannot understand why we have people working in a, in a public place that would do something like this. Aren't they screened well enough or what, what's the deal? One will be interested to know who he is or, or she and uh, just what their background is and then once the proceedings take place, the reasons why it happened. Now, Meyer says he isn't sure how long this investigation could take, but as soon as it is done, police will file charges and release the name of the former staffer who they believe is responsible. In the studio, Lauren Michler, KEZI 9 News.